What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are continuing the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus series with Super Saiyan Trunks. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell notification, that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Like this video if you enjoy it and of course comment your thoughts down below in the comment section at the end of the review so we can have a discussion on this figure. Here he is guys, Super Saiyan Trunks. Uh, one thing that a lot of people have been asking me is if this Trunks is better than the Master Stars piece Trunks, which I did a, a bootleg video um, right here. You guys can watch that. Uh, I will be reviewing that figure in a proper review very soon. I'm doing a lot of backlogged figures. Um, that's why some are missing on my shelves right now. They're in other places, um, but those will be coming. And that way we can do a proper you know, review. And that way you guys can make a better decision on whether or not this Trunks or that Trunks is a better get for you. But Without further ado, let's dive into the figure. We'll do some size comparisons, give some background on the figure, and of course, we'll give our final thoughts and a rating at the end out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. This figure is based on Super Saiyan Trunks from the Android Saga of Dragon Ball Z. It's based on Trunks revealing his Super Saiyan form to Mecha Frieza. Ichiban Kuji is a limited run lottery system created by Banpresto. These figures are usually exclusive to Japan and will have their overseas or Ichibancho versions released in limited quantity if at all. The prizes vary from artboards, towels, phone straps, or a plush, but the most sought after prizes are the figures and usually the last one prize is the most valuable. This set consists of Super Saiyan Gohan, Ultimate Piccolo, Imperfect Cell, Super Saiyan Goku, Goku, Super Saiyan Trunks, Majin Vegeta, and Majin Buu. This Kuji set was released in Japan on October 15th, 2022, and will have an overseas release except for Majin Buu. There are no variations of this figure currently. You can find this figure in the links in the description for about $70. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at just under 9 inches. Trunks comes in three pieces, his upper body, lower body, and support for his foot. This is a solid Masterly's Trunks figure, but there are a few things about it that just rubbed me the wrong way. His likeness is okay at best. I'm not quite sure what happened, but no matter what angle I look at him, he just ends up looking kind of goofy. His eyes have too dark of a bolded outline around them, his eyes aren't completely straight, his mouth looks a little janky and the position they put his face just has it in an awkward spot. I think if they lifted his chin up a bit and took a little more time to fix up his eyes and mouth, then this would have been perfect. His hair seems a little too small too. Maybe if they made his hair sculpt a bit bigger, it would have looked better on his head. Paint and shading are great. I don't know what it is about the Omnibus style for Super Saiyan hair, but I love it. There is subtle shading all over the figure as well. I would have liked for a little more shading to make the figure pop more, but it still looks great. Size and scaling are perfect too. He is shorter than the Master Stars piece version of Trunks, but not by much. Trunks is the perfect size and scales well with most figures in collections. Finally, his sculpt is good, but there is something I disliked about it. It was really tough connecting his upper body to his lower body. So tough that no matter how hard I pressed, he still isn't 100% connected, and you can see a small separation by his waist. I'm not sure if this is by design, I doubt it, but it just makes it seem like the quality of the entire build wasn't thought out of all the way. Overall, this is a solid Trunks figure, but certainly not my favorite. I'm still unsure if I prefer this over the Master Stars piece version, as there is a lot to like about this one over the older figure. 
If you're a fan of Trunks, I still think this is worth a pickup, regardless of all the issues. I'm giving this one 5 out of 7 Dragon Ball.